Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I had a very good night's sleep. And uh, I'm a bit nervous because tomorrow um, I'm going for this yoga retreat where I'm going to do a lecture about escapism that I've been wanting to do for years. So it's been like growing in my mind, but I never came to it where I you know, wrote it down and like actually performed it. So I'm really happy that my friend uh, asked me to, um, to lecture at her uh, yoga retreat. So I finally get, you know, a good reason to get that, to get that um, lecture going. Uh, so I'm really excited for that. Um, I have a very monstrous little dog right now. She's uh, naughty today super super naughty but also so much fun uh but yeah so i'm grateful today that i'm actually getting to to do this lecture um uh, even though it's covid you know we we've done a lot of things to um to um uh minimize the risks and uh, and she's the one who's uh, doing the retreats and uh, she knows the area very well so apparently she'd be corona safe but in Sweden, in uh, of the Tuesday, it can't be more than eight people in a group. Um, and everyone advises you to not see more people than your family, and the blah, blah, blah. So uh, if I gain weight, it's because I can't go to a gym. <laughs> Normally, I don't put on that easily, but it's also winter's coming here. And just, you know, 4 p.m. yesterday, it was pitch black, pitch black outside, and the... Uh, and I was taking Penny to the woods and I couldn't let her go, you know, because I, I couldn't see her in the back. Uh, anyways, yeah, so I'm grateful for that and I'm also very grateful for um, for having such amazing friends, you know, they're super supportive and uh, wonderful in so many aspects of my life. So I feel extremely grateful today for them. I also feel very grateful today for um, technology for being able to communicate, you know, the beautiful message of yoga like this online and, um, and have reached so many people. Like just in two days, I reached 470,000 people. That's like amazing. Once before I had like more views than that, when one of my videos went up in, in South Korea. But uh, it's just magical to see, you know, that and I'm so grateful for that. So if you're not yet a subscriber, subscribe now and also check out my Patreon where you get more content and, um, and a different angle and a better quality most of the time. Apparently the 4K quality is a bit of an issue at the moment, uh, but um, they're all recorded in 4K and eventually they'll be up as 4K on, on, on the platform. So subscribe to Patreon today. Okay, we're gonna um, we're gonna do a yoga class, a slow and wonderful one, and um, I'm gonna pre-record. I'm gonna do so much yoga today because I'm going to this retreat this weekend, and uh, I won't be able to record out there. So um, so you get uh, today's classes for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, uh, but uh, I'll make it fun. Okay. Get down on your sitting bones, straighten your back up, close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows. Make sure that everything works. Breathe in and out through the in your body. We're going to start taking control over our breath. On the inhalation, feel how your belly is expanding. On the exhalation, drag your belly button to your side. Inhale.
Okay, we're gonna start with um, the fire breathing. And we do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine quick and fast. Inhale to start. Beautiful. Now we're going to do the hip row. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Job. We're going to come to all our fours. Place your hands straight underneath your shoulders. Place your knees straight underneath your hips. Move my mat a little bit. On the inhalation, come forward with your belly, the cough of the seal. On the exhalation, come in. Beautiful, we're going to tuck our toes and come to downward facing dog. And work your hips up. Try to create space between every vertebra in your spine. Beautiful. We're going to take one step, big step forward with our left foot. And we're going to come down. 
uh, we're gonna place our feet foot as far as on the left side on the mat as possible and we're gonna work in something called the lizard pose so you can come up on your toes back Come back with your right foot. We're going to hold the plank for a few breaths. And we're going to come back to downward facing dog. She just farted in my face. We're going to take a big step forward with our right foot and we're going to place it in the outer part of the mat. And we're going to come down, penny, move. We're going to place our elbows down on the mat and if you want, you can come down on your knee. You can put up and come up on your toes back. down to the sphinx. In the sphinx you want to open up your chest, push it forward and shoulders back as much as you can. From here we're going to come to child's pose. And we're going to come back to Taylor's position. Penny. Inte leka med mammas kläder. Get back down on your sitting bones, straighten up your back, let's rest and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards, let this eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area you find an inner room where you can spend some time just for yourself nothing that will come. It's only you in this moment. Place your palms 
once you're for it, you just think it falls through the day to your mouth, you speak the truth, and to your heart, you to follow your heart, and to be kind to yourself and to other people. Thank you so much for today. You guys are the best. I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.